We begin tonight with some Henry Ruggs and breaking news. A judge ordering the former Raider to physically appear in court. It's after he failed to provide a scheduled breathalyzer test. Attorneys for Ruggs saying the reason for missing it was because the machine was not working. So instead he took an at home test. So what's next for Henry Ruggs III and how will this slip up affect his deadly DUI trial? Well, we sent 13 Action News anchor Ross DiMatteo to get answers. Ross. Well, Trisha and Todd, I spoke with a local attorney named Chip Siegel, who has more than two decades of experience with DUI cases here in Clark County. He said it is never a good idea to miss a court ordered alcohol test, but it would be much worse if it were to happen again. For a judge to have a condition that, hey, you're going to either be on a ankle bracelet, which is going to test you continuously, or if you've got an injury or just to accommodate the person that you're going to breathe into one of these devices four times a day. That's pretty normal. Nothing weird about it. In a deadly DUI case like the one allegedly involving Henry Ruggs III, attorney Chip Siegel says regularly required alcohol testing is a common condition of bail. What's not as normal is missing one of those required alcohol tests, like Ruggs recently did while on house arrest. He's in front of a very good judge, an excellent judge, and Judge Balcom. She handles these cases all the time. This is the condition that she wants, and you don't want to violate a judge's terms of uh, what she wants. Siegel expects Ruggs will be reprimanded for missing that test when he reports to court on Monday, and then the judge will decide whether to further discipline him. Does this mean he's definitely going back to jail? No. Does it mean he's going to get a very stern, stern talking to from Judge Balcom? Absolutely. Does it mean he has to be worried that Judge Balcom might say, hey, you violated the conditions of, of your release and you're going back to jail? Yeah, he needs to be concerned about that. Siegel says he'll be surprised if Ruggs misses a second test, or he'll be a lot more likely to land in jail and face an uphill battle with Judge Balcom. Technically, public perception has no impact on the judge. Realistically, yeah. That's going to be something that any judge would have to consider that this is getting a lot of scrutiny. So you do take a chance anytime you don't follow what a judge says, especially in a, in a high profile case. It puts more pressure on the judge, even though it's not supposed to. Now, it's important to note here that Siegel says Ruggs' missed alcohol test will have no effect on the verdict in this case, only his ability to remain out on bail while his case plays out in court. Live in the studio, Ross DiMatteo, 13 Action News.